friends welcome back and if you are new welcome my name is Nikki I will put my usual video on the screen showing you how to give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell so that you're notified of my almost daily uploads I always say almost because I upload about four to five times a week on this channel if you are new here I have been a part-time reseller for 10 years on eBay and two years on ThreadUp, Poshmark, and Amazon. I'm surprised I was able to say that without saying, um, what do I usually call it? Threadmark? <laughs> I always mix them up. Uh, what else? Any other updates I have to tell you? All right, let's just jump into it. I do a lot of ThreadUp videos on this channel. I'm about to film, I'm not joking, like 10 eBay videos, so there's going to be a lot of eBay videos coming at you lots of Amazon videos coming at you. I am going to be a filming machine. If you're new around here, I'm currently eight and a half months pregnant, 35 weeks pregnant, and I don't know where I'm getting this energy. So many of you are like, Nikki, where do you get this energy? Girl, I don't know. I just want to have my good days. I can like literally conquer the world and then sometimes I just can't get out of bed. So I just capitalize on those good days. So lots of videos coming at you. Let's talk about thread up. Oh, thread up. <laughs> thread up has been just an interesting place to sell. If you don't know about their new, like the pricing issues that happened last week that they fixed, and they're going to give us 30 days notice, I'll link those videos that I did on that down below. But so many of you have asked. So I've had one account for two years. I was up to a thousand listings. I actually just reclaimed you guys almost 300 items because I want to try to sell them myself. Some of them are, a lot of them are higher end items. So I'm actually down to 700 active listings there right now. I got up to, you guys know for a while, my goal was a thousand, got up to a thousand. Now I'm down to 700. So I'm going to be having a lot of work to do. Um, and I just realized for the first time in two years, so two days ago, I was able to print labels. You guys ask, I get this question at least twice on every video. How are you still able to print labels? How are you still able to print labels? If you're new to ThreadUp, I guess some people can print labels, some people can only request a bag, and some people can't request anything. They can't request a bag or labels. You guys, I don't know. I don't know why for two years straight I've been able to print labels. Basically, when the pandemic started, understandably, the warehouses and thread up, they couldn't process as fast, so they kind of had to limit who could do what. Honestly, you guys, I really, truly believe it was just totally random. I don't... <laughs> No shade on thread up, but all shade. I don't think they're refined and fine tuned enough to really decide, oh, we'll give YouTubers the access. Cause a lot of people will like send me kind of like snarky DMs and like, is it cause you have a YouTube channel that you can still print labels? I don't think thread up, like, I just don't think they're fine tuned enough to really do that i don't but i honestly think it's just random you guys and here is why i now have my proof so through the whole pandemic i've been able to print labels and some people tell me they're only able to print 10 labels at a time i don't know why but i mean like just last week i printed like 15 labels i don't know like i said i don't think thread ups fine-tuned enough to restrict certain i don't know the reason I think it's random is because just two days ago, I am now, now no longer able to print labels. And it was just really sad. <laughs> and I was just like, dang, dang, really. If you are new around here, I always tell you guys, I take emotion out of all of my businesses, out of my real estate business, out of my reselling business, out of my corporate nine to five healthcare job. I just try not to get feelings involved. And so many of my friends are like so upset if they can't print labels and I'm never selling on thread up again. I'm like, and I always tell you guys this, I'm kind of like a tough love, I guess, person, but I'm like, it's not your platform. You cannot control what thread up does. You can't control what Poshmark, eBay does. That's just part of selling on a platform that you don't own. That's why I'm such a huge advocate of having your own website that you control, whether it's a blog, whether it's where you sell your own clothing. I used to have my own blog, um, but then I wasn't good at updating it, so I need to get back on that. But it's really important that you have something that's your own because you guys, we don't control these platforms. So if you can't tell, this is just a chatty update video on ThreadUp. So I was like, well, shoot, I can't print labels. It was a good run. I am, I am very grateful 
that for most of 2020, I've been able to send five to 10 boxes a week just from printing my own labels. I've only requested a bag from them once and it was before the pandemic started and I didn't like it. It takes too long for them to ship a bag to you. Um, and then I feel like I can't fit as much clothing in a bag, but so I did that once. I think it was like January and I was like, I'm not doing this again. I love printing labels. And I was like, well, shoot, I can't control thread up. I knew this wouldn't last forever. Maybe they're just like switching the people who were able to print labels now have to request bags. I heard rumors that they're going to like switch things around. So I was like, how can I fix this, I wonder? So instead of getting mad, friends, I just got creative. I was like, I should create a new account and see what happens. Can't hurt. So what's funny is on my first account, my original account where my 700 listings are, I can now request a bag. And I'm like, oh, fudge. I'm trying not to cuss because the baby can hear me. According to all my apps and my doctor, the baby can hear us. I'm trying not to say like F-bombs. I don't, honestly, you guys, off camera, I don't cuss that much. Like if I were to quantify it, it would be like, I don't know, like two times a week. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't do that very often. But this whole thread up thing is just, I want to just drop an F-bomb. But <laughs> anyways, so I'm like, oh man, I don't want to request these stupid bags. <laughs> I'm so spoiled, you know? So I did, I requested three bags because I was like, whatever. I mean, if this is all I can do, this is all I can do. And then a light bulb went off and I was like, I'm going to create a new account. Can't hurt, see what happens. So I logged out of my original account, logged in with, I created a new login with an email that I've never used with them before. And lo and behold, friends, this mf -er let me print out on a new account, brand new. I just started it yesterday, four labels. I probably could print more. I just stopped at four because I was like, I don't think I should push my luck. But this is why I say I don't think that ThreadUp is fine-tuned or... Is it fine-tuned or am I trying to say like sophisticated? I don't know if they're sophisticated enough with this They're to really like decide, oh, someone will get a label because they're a YouTuber and oh, only these people can print labels. And so then I thought, well, what happens if I create another account? So then you guys, I was just on a roll because I wanted to test it out for you guys and for myself. So I created another account with another email I have. I have a lot of emails. And that account actually said, you can't do anything. It just said, we're, it was like some message, like we're basically saying we're backed up. If you would like to be notified when you can sell to us, put your email in or something. So you guys, I really think it's totally random. I, if you can't, if you're not able to print a label or request a bag, I feel your frustrations. I totally get it. I don't work at ThreadUp. I can't tell you why that is, but I honestly just think they're just randomly like going through like, okay, the first hundred people, they can print labels. The other hundred people, they can request a bag. And these hundred people, like they can't do anything. I think they're just kind of like rotating it. And I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to it. I really don't because now I have three accounts with them. One, I can only order bags. The other one, I can print labels and it's a brand new account. I just started yesterday. And then the other account I started just says I can't do anything. So I just think it's random, you guys. And we just have to be patient. Try not to get frustrated. We don't control the platform. You can voice your concerns. You can email them. You can chat them. I feel like that's more efficient than just getting upset, getting pissed off. I'm not going to stop selling there because it's just so easy for me. And I tell you all the time, like 50% of my inventory I get for $2 or less. Um, so yeah, I'll just roll with the punches so on my main account i'll update you guys once i get those labels for, or bags for those of you that order bags how long does it usually take for you to get them i think online it was saying like eight weeks i was like what to send me a bag that's whatever but at least i have this new account where i can print labels so i'm just gonna rock with that one i really didn't want to have two accounts because i like to track you know my sell through rate I like to track my active listings, but it's not a big deal. I'll just combine them. So yeah, I just thought I would update you on that because I get that question almost daily. How come you can print labels and I can't? Or how come I can only request a bag? I think just it's just random, you guys. So that's what's going on. Now I have two accounts that I'm going to be selling on. Um, I am still sending boxes to them. A lot of you guys asked me that. I just had my boyfriend take two 
today. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing 10 a week, just because I really wanna focus on doing eBay videos on this channel, Amazon videos. I wanna focus on my own inventory. I'm just looking at two bags of Nordstrom Rack um, stuff that I bought. I'm gonna film a haul of that. So I'm not gonna be doing 10 boxes a week. And also I'm gonna be giving birth next month. So I'm gonna have to slow down, but I think I'm gonna tailor it back to two to five boxes a week. And we'll just see how it goes. So I just wanted to give you that update because I get that question all the time. So if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments down below. Are you able to order a bag, print a label, or nothing at all? Or can you do both? I haven't heard of anyone right now that can do both, that can print a label or request and request a bag. It's like either or. Yeah, friends. So that's the 411 on ThreadUp. I'm like ThreadUp Dow. I keep telling you guys that and then I keep releasing ThreadUp videos, but I feel like that's how the majority of you found me and you wanna know updates and information. So yeah, that's the 411 on that. Let me know what you're able to do down below. You can check out my other ThreadUp videos right here.